America and beyond. Welcome back to AMTV News. I'm your anchor, Topher Morrison. It's Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. It's the GOP's secret weapon, Bush the Latino. George Prescott Bush just threw his hat into the political ring the day after the GOP got Romneyed. That's right, Romneyed. It'll catch. This George W. Bush is the son of Jeb Bush, former governor of Florida and nephew of George W. Bush of seemingly eternal infamy. Bush is a lawyer, a real estate developer, and resident of Fort Worth, Texas, and he filed a campaign treasurer appointment Wednesday, a requirement for someone to become a candidate under campaign finance law, Tim Sorrell's general counsel for the Texas Ethics Commission told the Associated Press. Like most Bushes, he is no stranger to politics. However, unlike most Bushes, he's been giving political speeches since he was 12 when he addressed the 1988 Republican convention. He actually served a tour of duty in Afghanistan. And again, unlike most Bushes, he's a Latino. Bush's mother is a naturalized Mexican immigrant. And after Romney was soundly trounced with overwhelming Latino support for Barack Obama, the GOP has rolled in their secret weapon, quietly chanting, Viva Bush. The California superstate, struggling for over a decade with a debilitating web of incongruent initiatives thanks to California's penchant for direct democracy, a looming debt crisis, and union control pervasive throughout the land, the Golden State has also just careened into Democratic supermajorities in both the House and Senate in Sacramento. Previously, you needed two-thirds to approve of tax increases. There is now no opposition in sight. Hey, after decades of Democratic dominance, why not double down, right? Additionally, Proposition 30, a direct tax, was passed. Proposition 39 did as well, supercharging taxes for green initiatives, promising to deliver $1 billion annually. And Proposition 32 was hammered into submission, effectively delivering, writes Stephen Greenhut of Reason, quote, the ability to extract dues from union members to pay for the kind of bare-knuckled politics on display Tuesday. Now that the Democrats are in firm control of nearly every orifice of government in California, you break it, you own it. This is kind of interesting. Google renounce citizenship queries spikes. The day after Barack Obama won re-election, there was a substantial spike in queries on how to renounce your citizenship. As we have reported on before, the American diaspora is likely to accelerate over the next four years. Time to build that international skill set, or maybe prepare for a bumpy ride. Capturing every corner of the alternative media, watch AMTV News Monday through Friday. You can watch more videos like these at amtvmedia.com, home of the AMTV Network. This is AMTV, the voice of independence.